Hello and welcome again to 21st Century Music, where we help you to make better music. Today we are talking pipe organs. And the pipe organ, unlike other instruments, cannot really be moved around. It is built on location and becomes an integral part, acoustically, of the sanctuary in which it's constructed. Fortunately, our musicologists and audio engineers have gone all the way to the Czech Republic and other remote places of the world to sample the sounds of the stops of these pipe organs and with uh, technology it is possible to produce, reproduce these organ stops on your sound system and it's not really synthesis as such because they're the actual recorded sounds of the genuine instrument however the quality with which they are reproduced is going to depend on your sound system as well as your computer speed since these samples are fairly large and there are many of them it's going to be impossible in most cases to play this on a laptop you're going to need a very powerful system and uh, either it would have to be a very high-end laptop or maybe one of the upper-end MacBook Pro but it needs a lot of processing power and above a very fast hard drive to stream these samples the more stops you combine now the stops from the various pipe organs and there are six of them in the classic pipe organ collection by Garreton most of them are recorded within the Czech Republic but there's one modern organ in Canada and one in New York now we have up here on the right I'm gonna show you up here on the right let us go up into the preset area where you see where it says ensemble we're going to click here now and show you we come down to classic pipe organ collection and we see here that we have the six organs the first is a baroque organ and uh, the different presets here allow you to select its acoustical environment let me get that back for you I don't know what happened there it is and uh, that is true for all of them the second organ is a classical one from the classical period the third organ is a modern organ that's the one in Canada the fourth organ is modern too which is the one in New York once again um, convolution acoustic modeling allows us to actually change the sound somewhat by where, uh, where it um, gives it an audio setting and ambience so therefore we have different loaded um, presets for that now here we have the renaissance organ then uh, finally the romantic organ now as I said each of these are each of these are recorded in the specific organ context in which it occurred and uh, these are the presets that are available so when you load these presets for each of the organs you're going to get the stops combination of stops loaded into this aria player the aria player is the player that will play your samples for each of the stops so what we what we have essentially is a number of stops because you can only record a stop at a time for the organ which you can combine much like you do on the original instrument and as I see as you see here the aria player is constructed as 
basically a MIDI mixer. You can assign any one of the 16 MIDI channels to the 16 channels of this device and you could load 16, a maximum of 16 stop combinations per organ. In some cases we have some empty slots as you can even see there there's a few of them empty in this one and uh, right now we've got the Renaissance organ loaded and uh, you can see some of the stops there a diapson and uh, a few others in this image and we see that we also have a few empty channels so we're not using the maximum possible ones now there's an interesting one there on chapter on, on, on um, channel 16 notice it says renaissance blur noise that, if that further increases the authenticity of the actual thing by having a channel assigned to some noise, air noise that was recorded when that actual organ was being played so that really and truly if this thing is properly mixed and uh, you actually have a suitable analog to digital converter setup and sufficient um, uh, speaker power and amplifier power you should be able to realistically reproduce um, a combination from this renaissance organ uh, that sounds very similar to the actual real thing particularly if you select the uh, cathedral space uh, the cathedral acoustic space in which it was recorded and you don't try to modify the audio environment now this is just a, a, a simple preset as you can see and uh, it therefore contains stops from the Renaissance organ, several stops from the Renaissance organ. But you do have the opportunity to load any stops, and there are 75 of them from any of the organs into any of these MIDI channel slots. Therefore, you can create an organ sound that does not even exist because you could take some stops from the say the modern organ and you could combine them with some stops from the baroque organ or from one of the other organs and as I said each of these organs is actually a physical organ located in a particular uh, auditorium in Europe so what we're saying is that you can take stops from several different organs and combine them here um, to produce your own organ sound Furthermore, if you find the 16 channels to be too much of a limitation in the ARIA player, then you can open several instances of it. It's a VST uh, plugin within the Sonar, although it can, you, you have a standalone player for it too if you want. But generally we would use it, since we want to do recording, we would use it as a... VST plugin in your sonar and interestingly enough what you see below here is the sliders that control the various levels of the individual stops something that's normally not available to the actual pipe organist in the real setting so when you combine that feature along with the different stops from different pipe organs located in different parts of the world you really have a classic pipe organ masterpiece which should in theory be capable of creating any pipe organ song you could possibly imagine what is even more interesting is that these sliders which you see here for each of the various stops can actually be controlled from your audio interface so if you have enough sliders on your MIDI controller keyboard you can actually push these sliders around right above your keys as you play so that you can change your pipe organ sound in real time while you're playing it now the indication at the bottom you see a keyboard there and you notice that some of those keys are in white and some are not 
The white keys is the range of a particular stop selected. You will remember that the manuals in many of these churches are small. In some of these churches there may be no more than four octaves. And uh, therefore you're not going to get the same number of um, same number of playable keys on each of these stops. Which could be a little problem if you don't plan it right. Because you can't just go in there with your 88 key keyboard and expect to play it from one end to the other and have them sounding the same way. Since the timber will change if a particular stop drops out because it's not playable within that key range that you're playing. So it's quite quick to find out the ranges of all the stops that you have activated. As you can see up here, you see a range highlighted below on the bottom. Um, if we zoom up here to the actual slots themselves, you will see that we have here a little white uh, line right under one. You see right under one we have a small whitish square. What that is telling us is that this particular stop is the one selected. So the range that you're seeing in that bottom display is not the range of all the stops, but the range associated for that stopped flute there that you're seeing in slot 1. As you see, it's written 01 Renaissance stopped flutes. There, okay? Now, what, what does all this mean to you? Well, the thing about it is that for many reasons you might want to include pipe organ voices in your music. And uh, if you decide to do that, this is the best way to go. Because you're not going to get a more authentic pipe organ song that works in a sonar VST. Or well, it basically VST will work with anything that's VST compatible. But it works very well with sonar. We've had no issues at all. Uh, except, as I said, that on a laptop, when I tried it on a laptop, even though the laptop was powerful enough to run our sonar, it was not capable of, of handling, when we, when we tried to load too many stops, the sound broke down. The sound broke down on several points because the computer was overworked and it wasn't able to retrieve the samples fast enough from the hard drive on the particular laptop that I have. Now I've talked for rather a long time and this is making the movie extremely long and um, this is just an introduction so we'll have to split it into several sections so I'm just going to give you a sample of the sound here now and then we will leave the rest for another video. that's it for today. See you again soon on 21st Century Music.